Yes, we're back. And uh, in desperate need of a car wash. But don't judge me, okay? I promise. I promise my house does not look the same. But anyway, what in the Rice Krispie Treats is going on here? Ooh, let's start with this. Please excuse the hairdo. I'm having a hellacious hair day. Hellacious. But uh, shout out to all the new subscribers. Mm -hmm. Appreciate everybody for liking the video. Yes. Leo Legion, loyal commenters and subscribers, you are very much appreciated. And uh, I mean, yeah, you read the title. We're gonna get into it because, man, this car, this car takes so many stabs, man. From the turbo engine to the kind of a little bit of the looks, especially with the hatchback of this 10th generation. And then you've got also, you've got, uh, you got pretty much uh, people just, they, I mean, they bought it, they like it, it's a Honda, but they don't believe that it is as reliable as previous Hondas. They don't think that it can get the job done. Well, my car mm -hmm, has proven the haters, the naysayers, the complainers incorrect. Now, if you want to get this coveted 45, 50 miles per gallon, you're gonna have to drive a certain way. No, not like your grandmother. No, not like your great-grandmother. But you do not also have to not drive like your great-great-grandmother. Let me explain. You see that? Do you see that right there? 46.3 miles per gallon, yes. In order to get that 46.3 miles per gallon, the first thing you have to do, all right, is buy the car. <laughs> No, no, but seriously, the second thing you have to do is you got to learn how to drive a main transmission, all right? Today, a lot of people want to just convenience, comfort, I'm just trying to get there, whatever the case may be. They don't give, they don't care about main transmissions no more. I mean, let's be honest, main transmissions are, if they aren't out the door already, well, they're not, but they're on their way out the door. I think only probably like 1% of the entire market is going to be made transmissions as of 2023, which is crazy to think about. A manual, a manual, a manual, a manual. So, I would recommend straight up, buy you guys a manual transmission, but first you got to learn how to drive it, of course. See, back roads like this, where you've got, I don't know, 30, 35, 40 mile per hour speed zones, of course, rural area. So this allows you to drive in a certain manner that allows you to get the necessary, I guess, it allows you to have the necessary driving uh, habits to give you the gas mileage that I'm talking about. Now, a lot of people ask me, what, what, uh, like, how do I drive? Like, where do you shift? What gear are you in? Listen, at 33 miles per hour, I'm in six gear. I'm in six gear. Anytime I'm at or above 30 miles per hour, I am in six gear. So that is one of the things you have to do in order to achieve that gas mileage. But let's talk about more about taking off and highway speeds because that matters as well. Okay, when driving, first thing, first gear, you're gonna shift below 3,000. Second gear, you're gonna shift below two and a half. Third gear, you're gonna shift 2,000. Fourth gear, uh, you're gonna shift into fifth at 2,000 again and then just go straight into six 34 miles per hour and you are cruising Now you could just ease on the gas all the way up to the limit a little bit over 40 42 miles an hour Just like that Keep this bar keep this bar above 40 now That's a lot to trying to be focused on getting miles per gallon But the route but the reality of it is most people aren't achieving these high or estimated miles per gallon is because they want, they're trying to get what they're trying to get. They're heavy on the gas. They're trying to go fast when they're taking off and they care about going faster than the person next to them. Also, the Civic, and I think a lot of Hondas do. I, when I get uh, the loaner cars, when I get the maintenance done on this car uh, sometimes, they all have like this bar right here. This green bar that tells you uh, whether you're getting the best gas mileage. I'm going to put it See that? I just hit the gas and it, and it goes white. Now, also, they also have eco mode. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit that button, and you're gonna get your little green leaf. 
right here on the uh, on the dash or on the whatever this thing is. And that helps you, of course, get more gas mileage. It actually, you get less power when you're driving the car as well. I don't know if I ever explained that, but um, you, it takes a lot more throttle, more fuel, and get more, uh, more gas, if you will, to uh, get the car moving. I'm gonna put a picture on screen of the absolute best gas mileage I have ever gotten in this car. 49 miles per gallon. 49 miles per gallon crazy i mean on average though um it's mostly highway miles fair enough full disclosure uh but i think in the city driving like that you know cruising taking your time easing in you'll get around 30 35 miles per gallon in the city and that is very good when i take this car to get the maintenance i mean the people at the dealership in the service department they all think you know man that's better than what people who are driving hybrids are getting and again, it's because when people take off, the way they drive, their driving habits, it's about just go, 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 go. And even if you buy an electric car, I don't care what you guys are talking about right now, even if you buy an electric car, the more gas you give it, the more acceleration you give it, the less range you're going to have, no matter what type of car it is. Electric, hydrogen, gas, it doesn't matter. You know, truth is, I would rather no, I can stop for fuel close by and fill up in five to 10 minutes than to um, run out of electricity and have to sit for two hours. That's actually a topic for another video because me personally, I think hydrogen fuel cell and hydrogen combustion engines should actually be the direction everyone should be going in because it's the most sustainable. Hydrogen is not only the most realistic and sustainable uh, it's when it comes to like building the cars and transitioning it's the cheapest all right but that's not about nothing might not be right now it might not get the best uh, mileage or miles per hydrogen fuel cell or whatever the, whatever the diddly uh, but however again with internal combustion hydrogen internal combustion you could just throw a hybrid in there as an extender range extender and uh, you'll be right to getting 500 miles a tank this car gets full highway miles per gallon if i'm getting 47 miles per gallon 48 46 i get as much as anywhere from 540 to 560 miles per tank and it also means that when it's time to refuel i don't have to wait i go five ten minutes 10 11 gallons and i'm back to getting 550 miles you know but that's neither here nor there so that's what you got that's what you get that's how you get 50 miles per gallon or close to in the range of 45 to 50 with the car. 10th gen Honda Civic is the truth, all right? The 1.5 turbo engine is the truth, all right? This channel has continued to prove that. Uh, next video, actually, I'm either going to do an update on the G70 because I've had that for a year now. So I got to do a year update. I also took a recent road trip with it and was shocked by something that... Uh, Anyway, I'll wait. But anyway, appreciate everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next video.